What's going on everyone? Jeremy here, The Quartering. We're gonna try something new. If you like this format, make sure that you drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comment section down below. When I have a multitude of topics to cover, but each topic doesn't necessarily warrant its own individual video, I'm going to try to combine them in a weekend or week, I'm sorry, weekday afternoon wrap up. Uh, so today we're gonna to talk about Asia Argento, the crunchy roll epic failure, and one of the worst takes on the Madden tournament situation ever coming from none other than hashtag shut up Tariq Tariq Nasheed. Uh, I want to start today's episode talking about Asia Argento. Now, if you followed last week, we talked about, well, one of the originators of the Me Too movement turns out was a predator herself issuing a nearly $400,000 payment to a 17 year old boy that she hooked up with while the age of consent in California, where it happened, is 18. Now, she publicly denied these claims vehemently, even though she had given that money to the kid anyway. She then blamed it on her now dead uh, ex, Anthony Bourdain, and we might now have an idea of what might have sent him over the edge. Uh, pictures surfaced, as they always do, of Asia Argento and the 17-year-old boy in bed together. Now, I don't know. I wasn't there, thank God. But I wasn't there when Anthony Bourdain decided to do what he did. But certainly, seeing this picture, which he undoubtedly did, didn't help his mental state. Well, as you know, Asia Argento has gotten woke. Uh, heading up, being one of the centerpieces of the Me Too movement, parlaying that into a job hosting the Italian X Factor, where they had 40,000 contestants sign up for this year. Well, she got fired today. Actually, Friday, I believe. It's being reported today. But uh, she is fired and will appear in the six or seven episodes that all have already been filmed. However... She will not take part in any of the live after shows and for any future episodes. So I guess you could say, in spite of all of her trying, she could not deny the force, the absolute physics of get woke, go broke. Enjoy the unemployment line, you vile woman. Next up on the show will be the crunchy roll. Uh, the crunchy roll uh, tour of defeat on their High Guardian Spice episode. You saw my episode last week, if you didn't, make sure you check it out, which was actually viewed more than the High Guardian Spice trailer, two to three times as much so. Uh, interesting, fun fact, hashtag humble break. Well, the Crunchyroll team had to shut down the High Guardian Spice forum simply because it was getting too political. Now, who could have imagined that, given that the entire trailer was surrounded in identity politics, imagine people maybe talking politics. Country Roll is on a roll lately when it comes to getting stuck in the mud of controversy over an originally funded show called High Guardian Spice. The reception of the San Francisco made animate, animated show, no surprise, was not positive from Country Roll's paying subscribers. In fact, it was downright derided by the community because they felt it was pushing social justice warrior agenda and Crunchyroll was taken to task for not putting subscriber money back into the coffers of the Japanese anime studios. Now that is a big point. A lot of you told me who subscribed to Crunchyroll uh, that you were pissed off because they were taking the money uh, that you paid, right? to help fund the Japanese studios. Nobody was paying for High Guardian Spice, okay? So instead of putting that money back into uh, the Japanese studios, they instead used it to fund a locally produced social justice abomination. Crunchyroll has made a follow-up post to explain that they are putting some of the money back into the hands of the Japanese, but are also working on their own original content. Isn't that interesting? So when they get busted, uh, called out for basically using the funds that it's like, it would be like uh, paying for uh, a car wash, subscribing to monthly car washes, and then, ha no, I can't even think of a worse thing 
than offering people uh, anime uh, <laughs> and then giving them social justice uh, propaganda produced here in the United States. As a result, the forum thread for High Guardian Spice ended up being embroiled in socio-political debates between normal people and liberals. <laughs> I, there are normal liberals, in my opinion. This is according to one angrygamer.net, which always covers a lot of good stuff. And since Crunchyroll could no longer control the narrative, the volunteer moderators shut down the forum thread. This is what happens. This is what happens when you inject this sort of thing into people's escapism. Um, you can't... I like seeing this. Clearly, people were there pushing back against it. They weren't all in agreement. Otherwise, they wouldn't have shut down the thread. So it's interesting to see and good to see yet another get woke, go broke moment. Maybe this should just be the go broke hour or the go broke show. Maybe that's what it should be. And we should just talk about all of the cases where somebody... Uh, <laughs> got woke and went broke because certainly there's tons of uh, 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 things to pull from and each individual topic might be fun to just kind of discuss individually. Now, one person that certainly should be broke by now uh, is Tariq Nasheed, uh, having what I would say a nuclear bad take, uh, but this is what he does. He is the black Anita Sarkeesian. He is the person, he, he is basically an internet troll. Um, the only reason he survives is because we talk about him. And unfortunately, uh, I really did think about it, but this take was so woke. This take was so woke. Authorities finally identified white identity extremist David Katz of Baltimore. Okay, couple of things here. Uh... No indication that he was any kind of identity extremist. In fact, um, he was I th what appeared to be suffering from uh, toxic Trump derangement syndrome, but nothing really indicated that. And also, he's not white. He's Jewish. Now, I honestly, to be fair, have never really separated those two things. But the more I report on things and the more I kind of read different uh, people's takes on it. I think it's probably important to separate them, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. It's what the person did, not the color of their skin. But I am not a race whore. I am not someone who literally makes all their money uh, profiting uh, from racist comments. And then he goes on to say, this is not a gun control issue. The problem is the gaming community provides platforms for these type of extremists to fester anonymously. Whoo, hoo, hoo. That, is, that is a lot of spice, Tariq. That is a lot of spice. Now, first of all, there was nothing anonymous about this. This guy was in a IRL event. So this isn't like something that happened online. Two, uh, gamers... I mean, the guy was playing Madden. I play Madden too. So hashtag not all Madden players. But it's not like the guy was playing Call of Duty or Battlefield or some first-person shooter. Uh, that's why this narrative is probably going to drop by Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, if he had been playing something like that, we'd have months ahead. But then we have, you should be ashamed as a reporter to be spreading false information like that. Look, Tariq Nasheed is not a reporter. He's a race whore. That's what he is. And then why don't you chill out on all the anti-black racism? What? I mean, this guy, I mean, look at the replies. There's no way this guy believes what he says. Okay. None. None. Even, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes on. I actually tweeted the same thing twice. Why did he do that? Oh, it looks premeditated. No, it didn't. It never did. Do they ever? <laughs> uh, that whole statement is incorrect. Why would you say he's an idea? I mean, how are these tweets not reported? How does he keep the spread this information? And and Twitter just like, nope, he good. We're gonna we're gonna ban Medicare. 
because of some jokes. But uh, Tariq Nasheed, you're good, bud. So, well, I'd have to say uh, that is three pretty woke takes for the day to summarize it. Of course, we've got Asia Argento getting shit canned from her job on X Factor. And I assume probably experiencing a life of silence from other people in her industry after being outed as a entirely despicable fraud. We see Crunchyroll getting more backlash and we see the narrative with uh, what happened in Florida and gamers continuing. We see, um, you know, I've seen probably 20 or 30 articles uh, focusing around toxic masculinity and we've seen uh, gaming culture. We've seen all sorts of truly, truly hot takes. Uh, and I don't really know, you know, how to beat them, uh, but maybe I can finish. I can finish strong with uh, a, one of the better, one of the better hot takes here from Aaron Bibba. All right. Blue check mark, just so you know. It's frustrating that none of the coverage I've seen of the Florida shooting has mentioned Gamergate and violent tendencies of some gamers. One reporter did suggest a shooter had career stress, though. Have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed these topics. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget, if you're still here, I will be streaming Ghostbusters in about two hours. We're going to try to play through most of it and have some fun and relax here on a Monday evening. Hope you enjoyed today's videos. We'll talk to you again real soon.